I know the truck is good. I just want to practice a chicken before I actually put the chicken in there. And I don't do that very often, but I'm also not a big chicken painter. So I want to, I, I really don't like, and this may sound crazy, but I'm not a fan of a chicken looking straight at you because I think that the eyes are so weird on them. So I do want it to have more of a side view. So I just, ugh. they're not, I don't know. They look funny looking straight at you. That's what I think. So I'm gonna try to do one off to the side. And then, so I want the chicken to be up. This is about what size it's going to be. And then these are her wings out here. And then her apron, she's going to be like holding the uh, ends of the apron here. And then they'll come down. And... Man, Melissa showed me a crocheted egg holder, egg apron, but I'm kind of leaning towards a patchwork quilt type apron. I think would be prettier. Uh, this is just some MDF that I got from Diverse Woodworking when I was down there. It was just some scrap wood they had and I'm really liking working with MDF. I, I was always totally against MDF, but I'm really liking it. Oh, thank you, Shirley. Hi, Dusty. Hey, Marianne and Sherry and Sylvia. There's Melissa and Vicki and Shirley and Sue. Are you guys all staying in the house? Pia, I loved your teddy bear. You did a great job with it. So I guess everybody's just inside enjoying the warm weather or the warmth of the inside. I went to Champaign today and it's like why I ever decided to even leave the house is beyond me because it was 20 degrees on my car thermometer. But this, well, actually the sun was shining until we get, got there and then it's like every time you go north around Illinois, it's just always windy. Windy. It's windier the further north you go. So it was that. Then it was spitting snow on the way home. And the salt trucks were out. So we got home before it got dark. Ooh, that sounds good, Colleen. Hi, Sylvia. I'm glad you like chickens. I'm hoping this one works. Hi, Julie. You like chickens, too? Hi, Becky. Holy cow, Luann. No. It, thank goodness it never gets that cold in Illinois. But we do have, since I came in here about... I got home a little after five and I've been here in the workshop ever since. I haven't left yet. And um, I opened the door. I was trying to bring the little kittens in. They wouldn't come in. They're out there playing in the snow. So apparently it doesn't affect them like it affects me, apparently. So... We'll just leave them out there. I'm not going to get scratched trying to bring them in. So, I tried. So, did you guys get to see Virtual Home Decor Marketplace tonight? I've been talking on the phone all night, so I'm going to have to go back and watch the replays. I snuck in on Angie Lofgren's for a little bit. Man, those ladies have got a lot of nice Easter 
and Valentine's stuff. If you didn't make it, you can catch the replays. They were up early this morning. They started at 1030 and had sales. And then we have sales again tomorrow night. And I'm going on last tomorrow night. I think I'm, I am at 815 tomorrow night. So one good thing about having the last spot at first, I was the first spot tonight, but then I went to a graduation or tried. And so I changed it to tomorrow night and I took the last spot. So that way I can run over if I need to. Although I'm not going to because I don't want to get stuck, not stuck, but I don't want to have to deal with a lot of invoices at one time. I'd, I'd rather sell a few, get them gone, than sell a few more. Um... You're trying to learn how to crochet a chicken? Man, that crochet stuff is blowing up. Ah, good, Sylvia. The crochet is... My cousin's wife does a lot of it. And I've bought some pieces from her. And at the craft shows, they're going crazy. I would love to find somebody who does a lot of crocheted animals for the marketplace. And the, they're calling them stress animals now, so I don't know. It's People are buying their kids these crocheted stress dolls. A stress pet is what it's called. And I'm like... Mm. Maybe they need more than a stress ball at that moment. <laughs> but, whatever. Porter got a couple of stress. So when he's stressed, although you would have to find it in the bedroom to actually use a stress ball, but mm, different than when we raise kids, let me tell you that. The kids sitting there screaming and kicking their feet and carrying on. They need more than a stress crocheted animal. Calm them down. <laughs> but they are very popular, so. And so many different patterns. In fact, I've ordered a couple from her and I'm cleaning house, so I know I have a Highland Cow and a sunflower tomorrow. Oh, Angel's out of piano keys. That's fun. <laughs> Colleen, that's what I'd like to say, but I don't. <laughs> Isn't Beverly so creative with all that vintage stuff? I love it. In fact, I need to go watch her replay because I love her Valentine stuff. Shoot, I just sit here and paint one or two things a week, so I'm not near as creative anymore. Now that I don't do craft shows, I don't get a lot done. I'm I'm pretty much glued to the computer doing that kind of work anymore rather than doing this. I wonder if I want blue. I think I want gray. I keep saying I'm going to make more time to paint, and that just never seems to get to happen. gray. I want her to look cute. I, I don't want her to look cartoonish, but I also, this is just a regular painting for profits project. Last week was a teddy bear and I did it on two different backgrounds and it, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot of detail and in the painting for profits, I really like to keep it I always say keep it simple. That never seems to happen either, but, but I want it to be not realistic and not cute, if that makes sense.
And I saw a little bit of Tanya's this morning. Tanya's um, got a lot of vintage stuff. And she had a 15 minute this morning. She's brand new. And she will be on tomorrow night again, right after Tracy. I'd like to see more vintage stuff brought in. Hi, Diane. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's, well, you know what? The one I'm talking about is stressed because he's told, no, you can't have that. You just bought at the last booth. And just because you bought your one thing you're supposed to buy. And if you're crying at Hobby Lobby for a stuffed animal, that's not, con that in my book is not being stressed out that you can't get a darn stuffed animal at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> there just ain't no sense in it. It's like, no, you don't get one. That's it. You just say no. You don't get a stuffed animal at Hobby Lobby. That's, you got your one thing. You're good. Let's go. Oh, here's your stress ball. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shirley. It did turn out really cute. I I did like the teddy bear. That was the first real teddy bear that I've ever painted. It's like, how do you find different things to paint all the time? Because now I'm in this January started my, this is my fourth year of painting for profits with about 300 recorded tutorials, not including all my other projects. How do you find more things to paint? There's only so many animals you can paint. There's only so many snowmen you can paint. Hi, Karen. So now let me tell you about my day today. It was the worst day ever I think ever <laughs> well probably not ever but it was pretty close to it so we go just me and Paisley went to Champagne for my granddaughter's graduation my step granddaughter and we're sitting in the row it's in you know it was early graduation so we're sitting in this really nice hotel that has a wedding expo. The motel is just beautiful. And we're sitting in the chairs and we're right, there were six chairs in a row and there were three rows. And so it was Paisley, me, two empty chairs because I was waiting for my daughter and her family to get there. And then right across the aisle on this chair, so about six chairs away, a guy stands up and draws out a gun and whips it around behind them to two boys who were fighting. One of them pulled a gun and then another guy who ended up being an undercover police officer jumped up with his gun and there were three guns there. We ran out of that darn building. Everybody was rushing to the door. No guns were ever shot. Uh, we got out. Paisley left her winter coat in there. We never turned around to go back and get it. We, we left. The police were all swarming in on the place as we're trying to maneuver our car out of the way. And... Um, Two guys got away, but then I saw in the newspaper article, or on the news, because they covered it, and it said that they stopped them and arrested two people. But that was so scary. I mean, the guy was about 10 feet from me when he pulled out a gun, and he was a big dude, too. And it's like, run, Paisley. It was so scary. <sighs> it it was insane. And so my, of course, I wasn't waiting for anybody. My 
Cassidy hadn't got there yet. Her and her family, thank goodness, hadn't got there yet. They were running late, and my stepdaughter was sitting at the very front. We had just walked in and sat down, and I didn't know she was sitting up there. It was her daughter that was graduating. So I messaged her once we left and got to a safe place, and I said, are you okay? And she's like, yeah. You know, that police officer got him down and, and stopped it, and they had the everybody had filed outside and they were all waiting around for it to start again and she's like okay the coast is clear and i'm like i ain't going back <laughs> i ain't going back so they had the graduation and it was a beautiful hotel you wouldn't have even dreamed anything like that would happen they had a wedding expo going there were conference dinners going because they had the buffets out in front by the rooms and it was it was crazy there was nobody between me and the guy who stood up with the gun nobody between the two of us <laughs> holy cow it, it was bad so that was my day so we met Cassidy up at Target and then we headed home. So I looked it up and it's already on the news. And mom's like, I, my mom says, well, I, I just thought I heard something on the news about that hotel. I'm like, well, that's probably what it was. Cause as we were leaving the hotel, there were cop lights going all over the place, rushing to the motel and ambulances. I swear. You can't go anywhere. My son, in a small town that's about the size of, and it might be a little bit bigger than the town I'm living in, he got robbed pumping gas in the daylight, and they shot him in the stomach. And that's my son's friend in a really little town. So... Oh, we're fine. I mean, nothing really happened. It was just scary, very scary at the time. And let's say she never wants to go back to Champaign or whatever. I doubt her mom ever lets her go back to Champaign again. I mean, it's... But, again, it was a really nice place. It wasn't like, you know, the time I got us stuck in St. Louis that time. It was a really nice place. And I guess the guy who stood up said that he, the two boys behind him were getting ready to fight and one of them had a gun. So he stood up and pulled the gun before the other boy could pull the gun or what. I don't know. It's just like, get me to my little town and I never want to leave again. It is. No, not my son, his friend who lives in the same town with him, but he was about, oh, about 20 miles from home and just getting gas. And I don't know, he, I don't think that he said what they got off of him, but they shot him as they left, so. And he's from the town that my son lives in, which is about 400 people. <laughs> it's not even, it's got a Casey's gas station is all they even have, so. Then I went with um, my, because Paisley left her coat in there and, you know, nobody, nobody thought anything. It was just run. So we went to um, Target to get her a coat. Of course, they're all sold out of coats for some reason right now. So we ran over to Myers. And then I was like, I don't even like the looks of this Meyer store. It's time to just go home and go to Walmart tomorrow and find a coat, I guess.
I'm sure they probably had security somewhere in there because, you know, how the place was busy with all kinds of, I mean, me and Paisley stopped by the wedding expo, the booths that were outside, they were gorgeous. It was all upper class. It was, it was so beautiful in that place. And the, you know, there were workers all over the place, all dressed in suits and they held the door open as we were flying out and I have, and I, I don't think they had any idea why we were all flying out. But you wouldn't have thought it in that place. Um. It's not that the coat was even, it was a thrift store coat, but Paisley loved her coat and she's like, oh, the kids made fun of it anyway. <laughs> so she's not really worried about it. Be, remember our big puff coats that went down to your calves? Paisley usually likes to wear really nice things, but she loves that coat because she loves how far down it comes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so she's like, I really like that coat. I know it was only $4, but I love the coat. <laughs> and the ones we saw at Target and Meyer, they were all the short ones that cut off, you know, above your butt, and they're not as warm. Oh, thank you, Vicki. Um, I shaded just with um, Honey Brown. So that was my day. And I came home and I came to work and I haven't been home yet. So I'm ready to go to bed today. And then of course on the way home, it's starting to snow and the snow plows out and everybody's driving a thousand miles an hour and I'm driving 65 and sometimes 60. But luckily once we got about a half hour down the road, it was all gone. But that was one of the days I should have just stayed home today. And I told my son when I got home, I'm like, that Meyer store, I don't think you should go to that because I didn't even like being in there. It just didn't even feel safe in there and he goes well it's better than the walmart across the street <laughs> like great so anyway graduation went on my step-granddaughter graduated she was valedictorian she gave her speech and i was like i'm sorry i'm going home i didn't even go to the Thing afterwards it was like I can't drive at night you can, can you guys drive at night I can't see everything it's just not safe for me to be out on the roads at night so I made sure I got home because it gets dark here at 4 30 it's not even like it stays the light out very long so I got home before that happened Okay, I think she looks, I could give her some eyelashes.
cut it right across here. I think it's good. I didn't think chickens had these things, but I was looking at chickens online, and chickens have these. I thought they were only roosters. Oh, would you get those yellow driving glasses? Ah, oh, thank you, Geraldine. Oh, thanks, Diane. Well, I've got so many floaters in my eyes that I don't think my floaters that are all dark, in fact, my when I go to the eye doctor, he says, I just love looking in your eyes. It's like a firework explosion with all those things that you got going on. And I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm the one who's always swatting at nothing that's there because I think it's a flea or it's, it's something. So I'm always scooting it out of the way. And it's like, oh, it's in my eye. I can't. <laughs> that doesn't work. So... I got a ton of floaters. I always have. So I think she'll look good this way with white there but so then actually her I think she should come down like this oops no maybe down like that okay so this part should not be there that part should be On. So we're going to we're going to try to erase it. Only we're erasing it, trying to get it to match the background. So do some reverse painting and get it to blend in that way. Because if it turns out, what I'll do is I'll put my transfer paper over it and make a line drawing and then add it. I think she needs, I didn't want a whole lot because I don't want her to look like a rooster. I'll put this Oh, I went by Target and got a pickleball set. So now I'm ready to play pickleball. Has anybody played pickleball yet? Becky, you got a lot of floaters too? Hi, Charlotte. Kim, I'm, a, I'm dangerous to anybody, and I live in a really small town where people walk, and they walk out in front of you at night, and that is, if they knew who was driving, they would not do that because it's not safe. Hmm. I've never even watched it, but this new gym that I'm going to move my exercise class to now has a pickleball court and they, they, they provide the rackets. But when I was at Target, they had a pink racket, so I got a pink and blue one with the covers and some pretty pink and blue balls. So as soon as I get my class moved over there, I will, uh, we can stay after and play pickleball. Some of the ladies have played, I don't even know much about it. When I went over there to look at the gym and took the ladies over there, some of them were like, oh, this is kind of like badminton, I guess, similar, but. I don't know how to play it, but it's 
the gym, the gym is bigger, so now we can play chair volleyball as well. So I think that would be fun. So just something different, because you know, we do the same balls and bands and weights and I had a, I taught silver sneakers, um, the upper level class in a different town where we had a lot of room and man, we, we could do some Zumba gold ones. We could do a lot of different things. Passing the ball back. That was such a fun class, but the gym I'm in now, we just don't have enough room. Okay. So I like that chicken. She will look perfect setting right there. I'll have to make the wings a little bit different. This is just rough draft time. And then, so if she's sitting here sideways, right like that, and then put a rooster here and then an apron comes down and it has the little pockets with the eggs on it. And so each little pocket, this is what I thought of. So I think of this at night when I'm trying to go to bed. So I'll just have one row of pockets, not a lot of them, with maybe four eggs. And I'll have a white egg, a speckled egg, a light brown egg. One of them will be partway cracked and one of them will have a little chick peeping out of it. <laughs> That's what I thought about last night when I was trying to go to bed. Oh, Joyce, you played it? I think it'll be fun, but only four people can play at a time. Uh, Colleen, it, it's not even funny how bad it is when I'm driving and I cannot see, or when, especially where we used to live, when that sun is in the right spot and it blinds you, you know, and you have to put your hand up to see it. And the people that are walking alongside the road, even when the sun is just bearing down on you, it's so dangerous. I hate driving at that time of day too. And going out to Brittany's, they walk day and night. I mean, there's young teenage kids. I don't know what they're doing out there, but they're out there walking on that narrow road where two cars have to squeeze to get through, and they're out there walking. I don't know how hairy a chicken is, actually, but... I'll just add in a little bit of hair since it's waiting to. Have some, not a whole. Oh, they do have hair going down their back, don't they? I like how that white kind of pops up. Maybe you can't see it that far back but the way that that white pops up underneath that gray back there maybe she needs an eyebrow oh yeah that eyebrow looks cute actually okay i've got a pattern made for a chicken, you yeah, know, and then it'll be tedious, but be able to go in there. I don't want to use a real thin brush. It'll take a long time.
Okay, oh, and I partnered, I got my paperwork signed with the company that's going to make my door hangers. So as long as that's what I have to work on this week is getting the month of February's done. And then if you're in my group, you can order my door hangers and you get a 30% off the price, the prices, which are about a little over $7. So, and, and it depends, like if it's 18 by 18, it's a little bit more than if it's 18 by nine or whatever, you know that, but the people who are in my groups get a 30% discount off all of my wood blanks and they'll be about $5 a piece. So a little over $5 and, um, 